The memory or combi mode of this machine is right here. So when you touch it, if you ever see that your stitches disappear, you have entered into the combi mode. So if I want to put together a couple different decorative stitches, for example, this flower with this set of leaves, I could stitch that out in a continuous combination. Flower, leaf, flower, leaf, flower, leaf. Or I could set it to just sew that combination one time. Maybe I love it and I want to save it into memory. I can touch the personal program, the heart with a smiley face, and save it into that area and touch the yellow box to save that. When you want to delete it, you can go ahead and delete that out and even come back and put something else in here. So let's do a different combination, maybe a star with a um, leaf. Leaf. We can do any combination. If you have more than one item in there, again, you can go ahead and trash whichever one you don't want. You can arrow up, stitch by stitch, and whatever is highlighted, let's say I didn't want to have that extra one in there, also too, I can delete it. If I just touch the screen, I can also select a stitch and delete it or edit it. So we can make the stitch wider, longer, or adjust it for what it needs to be. And that would be all retained if I come over here and save that combination. Save that there. So how do you retrieve a combination? If we come over here to the combi mode, let's just go ahead and delete something off the screen so you can see. If I'm in the combination mode and then I go to the personal program, I want to retrieve a combination. So that's what these three little squares lined up. So I can retrieve whichever one I'd like and then it's all ready to go. Again, if you had adjusted settings for stitch width, stitch length, or any of the other things that you can change for that stitch, they will re be remembered within the memory. And then when you're done and you want to trash it, just come in and you can trash whatever you want and then you're not loading up your memory with anything that you don't want in there. We can also put combinations of alphabets so we can come in here and spell out words which we will do in a separate video. So you can come in here, do your alphabets, spell out your words, create your own quilt labels, add in decorative stitches both at the beginning and end and really jazz up the next project you're working on.